now let's talk about the periodic table and the classification of elements now chemists observed that several elements had periodic relationships with their physical properties so elements were classified according to their increasing atomic numbers depending with their periodic uh, their atomic number so we have columns and rows on the periodic table and what we're going to do is discuss what these means and how we can classify them you know, what we have first of all here is the first column which runs uh, from hydrogen to francium and uh, this column is what makes a group so each column is called a group so the columns in on the periodic table are called groups so this is group one and group two you can see uh three four five up to twelve now there's a very special name on the groups from uh, the third group all the way to the 12th group these elements are called the transition metals they have got a, uh, a special name now before we continue to speak uh, to say more about the transition metals let's just, just shift to the 13th group and all the way to the 14th 15th 16th and 17th to 18th now these groups they can also be referred to as group 3 a group 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a so basically we can say these these are uh, 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we have uh, talked about the groups like these are the columns which are running uh, from up to bottom or bottom to up and in group 3 so now let's just so we can just tick that out now let's talk about the periods periods are the lines of the elements uh, which run horizontally the horizontal lines that is from here this hydrogen all the way to uh, helium you only have two elements here so this is the first period and this is the second period the third period fourth fifth and so on and so forth so the ones we run horizontally uh, these are called periods now classifying the elements on the periodic table the first group is made of metals uh, which we call the alkaline metals those metals are not really found in their free state in nature because because they are very reactive and they react vigorously with water the alkaline earth metals are the second group they are also very reactive and are not found in their free state in nature they are mostly found with in reaction with uh, other metals or other elements and then what we have here down let's just color them uh what we call the transition what we have here these are called the transition metals well, these are the metals and they are called the transition metals so we can uh, separate them from the other uh, the rest of the metals so this is what we call all the transition block where we find the transition elements now if we were to separate these as transition metals then these here are what we call the alkaline earth metals sorry these are the alkaline earth metals and then these here are the alkaline metals let's just, just share the non-metals from the metals hydrogen though found uh, in group one is not a metal it's a non-metal when we jump to the group seven elements which consist of fluorine bromine and astatine these are not metals uh, they are called halogens they are also uh, called salt formers what we have on the group eight is the noble gases these basically are known to be stable uh, and do not uh, react they are highly unreactive so to say so they are found in group eight and they are very stable 
And what we have here are the noble gases in group 7 are what we call the halogens. So we have the noble gases, halogens, and transition metals. So the ones we've shaded in green are what we call the non metals. Okay, cut off another group uh, following this this line here. Now these are what we can refer to as the ones on this line. Uh, the metalloids which partly act as metals and also act as non-metals. Continuing the separation of metals from non-metals, we can go ahead and shade the others which is, which include carbon, nitrogen and oxygen as well as phosphorus. These are the non-metals. Then what we have boron, silicon, astatine, uh, the, uh, these can be regarded to as the metalloids that is the classification of the periodic table we have our non-metals and we have our metals transition elements the alkaline metals and the alkaline earth metals and this will also be some of the other metals so these are the metals and non-metals and what we have there are the metalloids from bone on this zigzag line so that is about the classification of elements on the periodic table